heck is that music coming from? Where did Buck go? Oh, that music stare Buck away. It's coming from my cousin's house. Uh, let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna have to go down there and tell her to put turn the music down. I'll roll up on her like a police. Tell her to turn that stuff off. Man, I thought she was having a party. She's the only one here. What the heck is wrong with her? Oh my goodness, it's so loud. Oh, I'm gonna get her. S dealing with family. Wow. I guess she found a new song she liked and she just wanted to play it loud. Man, I did not move her house far enough away from mine. Alright, let's get back to her house and try to get some sleep for tomorrow. Ugh. Hate dealing with family. Uh oh. Now I gotta go find Buck. Buck! Oh man, I hate my cousin right now. Come on, Buck. Feed Buck here. Hopefully he comes back sometime. Didn't find him last night, so I'm a little bit worried. Oh man, Buck. I am never going to forgive my cousin if Buck doesn't come back. Alright, so the plan is today is hopefully we can haul our cattle to our place here. So the first thing I need to do is uh, go look at some, uh, go pick up my truck. It's done, so it has the new bed put on it, and uh, then I need to look at some trailers and possibly a feed wagon. So we did end up uh, get done plowing that field over there. So uh, this, so I didn't chisel that much because this is like half the size, or the ripper, the disc ripper, than this chisel. But this chisel only goes down about half the depth as this deep ripper and the chisel kind of plows up. And this kind of just, the disc, it throws the stubble or the corn stalks and kind of buries them so they decompose a little bit uh, quicker. And the deep uh, shanks here, they actually just chisel into the ground and lift it up and basically drop it. But... We're going to see how this thing works over this old-fashioned, uh, old technology here. So see which technology works better for us. But we need to go pick up our truck and everything. So I'm going to go get our... Uh, looks like this is our only GMC left. I can't hook up that uh, gooseneck onto this. It just doesn't have the, the spring load on it. We'll get our gooseneck hooked up. So our cousin should be over here. I want her to help me haul. We got a lot of hauling to do for these cattle. So I'm actually pulling the trailer for a couple reasons. I uh, think I'm going to look at uh, a feed wagon that they have down there. Hopefully I can purchase that. And then I'll probably just end up throwing the truck on there. So even though it's really not that far of a distance, we'll probably just end up throwing the truck on there so my wife doesn't have to come drop us off. All right, so this is our new truck. We got a hydro bed. Hydra bed, not hydro. Uh, 
I used to have these on the farms. We used to have the truck beds and we used to be able to lift bales with this. So this is basically a bale arm right here. Show you how this works. Basically just like that. And you can move it. Put a bale on. And then when you don't need it, you got a flatbed with tie down straps. Uh, gooseneck so I thought this would be a great addition so we used to use these all the time on the farm it got controls like right out here too but uh, you could use these to unroll a bale you can hold two bales on here and it works good for just a regular flatbed uh, the only kind of problem we have is this is kind of a high truck to have it on but uh Oh well, it will get the job done, so didn't want to have to put the flatbed on my new GMC here. But, uh, so they got this Coon Feed Wagon. And this is a Coon Knight Feed Wagon, and you might think this is a, oh well, big whoop. That's no big deal there. Let's, uh, see that every day. Well... This one is supposed to be designed specially so you can use it for corn. I can get more milk out of each head of cattle if I feed them a little uh, ground up corn meal. So this should be able to take corn and hay and alfalfa all together and make uh, basically a mixture so the cattle could make us a lot of moolah. But, uh, moolah from the cattle. And it also has a scale on it, so we're going to see if this works or not. But, uh, they just want, uh, 10000 for this Coon Knight, so I thought it would be a good deal. So it's kind of small, but we'll try it out here for a little while. Uh, it did cost us five grand to put this new flatbed on there, and the flatbed itself costs $10,000, so... These things ain't cheap, but uh, it does have all the hydraulics, the triple C, 30 series. All right, that must be the truck. I don't know what that exactly means, but we will, I think this was a good investment. So it, I said 10,000, but it cost us 10,000 altogether. So with the install, uh, they did end up uh, trading in the other bed, so the other bed is fairly new. So they're going to take that and put it on another truck. But So I'm going to hook this up to the Coon Knight and then, uh, pull that both up on the trailer. Man, you're really high when you're sitting up on this thing, which is high in this trailer. Ooh. All right, it just barely fits. Looks a little odd with the truck pulling this Coon Knight, but uh, we'll get this strapped down and uh, get back there. Then I need to come back and I'm interested in these two trailers. So that will be the next project. Make sure no one's coming and uh, so I do have one more thing I uh, so I really don't the Super M basically is too small for this uh, uh, feed wagon just doesn't have enough uh, weight to it doesn't have enough engine horsepower to run the mixture and all that stuff so I I heard of a farmer Possibly uh, selling his old uh, case loader. Uh, we need a loader. We also need uh, a feed wagon or tractor, basically, now that we have this feed wagon. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go down there and just see what he exactly has. So we'll go down there quick and see if that'll work for us or not. And two, I mean, uh, a lot of my neighbors been giving me a little 
problems because, you know, I, I do have this international. And I have that international. But I have a lot of John Deere on this farm. they just been giving me some crap. They said that you... Stevio's went green. He, he, he doesn't like the red stuff anymore. You're right. I don't have enough of the red stuff. But the internationals... That's the good. That's the... That's the old... That, you, you can't get better than this. I mean... These tractors, a lot of these tractors are still running. Them are some horsepower. And I think hopefully we can get that old uh, harvester running one day too. But uh, these old tractors are good. But I'm going to get a case. But I'm not going to get a red case. Nope. But I am going to get a case. Just in case, it might be brown. Now, beans, I don't really need this big bed. I don't really need my big gooseneck, but I don't want to have to go hook up this gooseneck. Eh, probably we're going to go hook it up just to save some uh, uh, gas because this thing, weighs a, this thing weighs a ton compared to that little car trailer. So we'll go park this, hook up that car trailer quick. All right, we got the car trailer hooked up, so we're gonna head down there quickly. You guys are probably like, that's great. Where's this tractor at? Pretty sure it's in this building here. Let's go see. Here we go. I know, I know. I kind of lied to y'all. It is red. But this is the... What they say? They say the sunset version. So this is a 1570 open station. So I thought this would be not good for basically around the farm. And, uh, maybe my neighbors won't be on me so hard because, you know, I didn't go all green. I got some brown. So, and we got a just-in-case case. Just in case we need a case, we got one. And before you start with all the jokes, leave it in the shed. We're taking it out of the shed taking it out of the shit. We got plenty of that green stuff back at the farm to play with. Now we need some uh, red stuff to play with. Ah, there we go. So I purchased this for 12000 So I thought it was a pretty good deal for 12000 Looks like uh, they kind of painted over the gauges and everything here on the dash. Other than that, it's pretty good. I spent a lot of time in the, one of these 1570s. I actually, the one I spent the most time was the American flag one. Some of you may know, so it had an American flag. It was a white version of this, but it had American flag right here. So it had like stars and stripes, I think. But I spent some time in that. I got too much of the weight on the truck here. Got a little bit of squat going on there. Looks like we need to wash this thing too. Ugh. Yeah, icky. It's almost like the sunset case here. Back this up just to get that uh, hitch weight right. Let's see. And we got the loader up front, so we'll creep it back just a little bit. There we go. All right, so that should be all right. Come on guys, it doesn't mean it's special ed. It's a special sunset case. All right, so we will get back to the farm and now we need to go pick up some trailers, hopefully. So I 
think we'll just load this, unload this right here. Almost flat ground, but quite. So basically this is going to be my feed wagon tractor. Because it's special, primarily. Oh my goodness, I forgot I had my hitch on there. Oh, I am slipping today. Slipping, slipping. Let's get this on hitch here. Yeah, I got my uh, gooseneck hitch put on here. Well, I guess it's both hitches, but. Take that off. There we go. Doesn't have the tightest turn radius. Well, really don't want a loader tractor with too tight a turn radius. You might end up breaking an axle if you have the load, too much load on the loader. All right, we'll get this. Ooh, oh wow! Ah. Get this hooked up. There we go. See, look, now we can easily see the scale right there. It's like put in our face. If we lean back, we might knock off our head with it. All right, we will put this over here, ready to feed the cattle once they get here. Go. Probably, yep, right here. Now I need to unhitch that trailer, wake up my cousin, which ain't gonna be pleasant. She wants to listen to loud music late at night. And uh, hopefully she can help uh, basically uh, haul some cattle back. Now where is my cousin at? I'm gonna have to call her, wake her up. She shouldn't be listening to loud music. Oh, speak of the devil. Here she comes. So, uh, it's about time. About time, cousin. Get on over here. Come on. Go slow enough here. Alright, so we are gonna go over there and pick up our two trailers. So I paid, uh, 15000 a piece for them trailers which is kind of expensive but they're new aluminum trailers so I think it fairly good deal but uh, we got two trailers and then we're gonna have to haul some we gotta get our cattle back there and then we get to use our new bed so which one do you like more the OBS Ford here the old uh, I think this is 79 sure somebody will correct me for or the GMC actually I think that's a uh, older than 79 for I'm pretty sure but uh we will see which one out pulls which I kind of like this setup with the old Ford though so we're pulling here don't know if you could see but uh I think our cousin is a little bit too close to us right now. I mean, come on. Really? We're not doing a convoy in the middle of our Iraq. You could give us a little bit of room here. Look who finally showed up. About time you get here. Just so everyone knows, GMC won today. We'll see who wins once we get these things loaded. Alright, so the Ford just takes off. So we are hauling about nine head apiece here in our trailers. I know, it's, it's going to take us a little while to get all these cattle back there. Uh-oh. So if we're gonna win this time, oh wow. Them cattle must be like bouncing off the top of that trailer. You see? 
cousin is crazy driver. Man, look at her. Uh oh, she's accelerating. Guess who just passed back there? Yep, another win for the Denali. Uh, basically, that uh, Ford was bouncing around a little bit too much, and we just took advantage of it and uh, passed her. I know that it probably just drives my cousin crazy not being able to uh, pass us here. Whoa, she is really back there now. Well, she usually has a lead foot. Alright, we are pulling in here to our farm. Our cousin is nowhere in sight. She has just got to be driving her nuts, not being able to make it here before us. Well, that was a clear victory. We won that hands down. Man, I hope my cousin's all right. Oh, thank goodness she finally shows up. About time you show up with your Ford. So this is our main problem here. This is our only unloading chute. I need to figure out how to lower this thing so I could basically get here because uh, our cattle are basically looking at it right at their neck. That's not going to work. All right, so I guess we got to do some problem solving. We got to lower this somehow to get these cattle in there. I think we're only going to have a few more loads we're going to take. I think I'm going to pay to haul a lot of the cattle here. Just because uh, that's a lot of driving and a lot of miles. It'll take us all day going back and forth there. So we got our cattle out here. Yes, we got some Holstein cattle. Uh, we are going to try to be uh, dairymen over here. So that is our goal. Hopefully we can make somewhat of a de decent amount out of these cattle. But uh, I kind of like how they have their own uh, watering hole there. They can, if they get hot in the summer, they can just go down there and uh, run around in the water, I guess. Hopefully they don't spread diseases that way. But I'm going to try to find a hauling company to to haul the rest of these head of cattle. Because we only hauled a couple loads here. And then uh, I need to go hopefully borrow some... Or not really borrow. I guess you don't really borrow hay bales. But uh, some one of our neighbors is going to help us out a little bit. And we're going to get a few bales from him. So we're going to have to go pick them up. Alright, change of plan, so I called Jeffrey just if he knew a hauling company around the area and he actually said he recently got out of cattle as a cattle trailer we can borrow to haul our head. I mean, what kind of neighbor is that? A great neighbor. So we're going to get over there and uh, hopefully hitch it up, hopefully we can use it to uh, haul the remainder of our uh, head back over. So I got the cattle trailer hooked up. Uh, you gotta see this thing. This thing is sweet. So he has black ac accents on this uh, old chromed out trailer, which I don't, it's not really black chrome, but it's shiny black, has lights all the way around it. It's flashers on top. Man, I think it looks cool. Looking cool. But we will get this thing headed out here and hopefully get a few loads hauled today. And uh, hopefully we can feed our cattle and get to bed at a decent time. Get to drive by Mack truck.
Man, has this thing got the horsepower to it? Man, I'm sure glad we ended up uh, making friends with Jeffrey because uh, he is really coming through to us, helping, letting us borrow this trailer. All right, get headed out here. Oh man, listen to this old map purr. Man, this thing is purring down the road. Beautiful. Alright, so we got 25 head loaded up here and all packed in there all nicely. We got some uh, Napa mud flaps here. Just noticed that, sorry. But, uh, man, this uh, trailer rides good, it roads good. I think it looks pretty cool, in my opinion. But, it kind of matches that truck. We might have to end up purchasing this Wilson trailer. Silver Star. I'm liking it. finally getting back here so this is our last load where we're gonna end up hauling Oop. yeah I don't need a turn there and turn in over here so we should have about 60 head of uh, hostings here looks like one of my hostings got out and it's in my uh, barn over there uh oh all right, so we got to figure out how to back this thing up. Good thing is uh, we got our loading gate hooked up properly. Oh, yeah, that that was a bad. Don't be taking notes for that. That 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 wasn't good. There we go. Finally got that thing hooked up right. Backed up right, I mean. All right, so now we got to unload all these head. All right, so we got our 60 head all hauled over here. So now we need to go pick up a few bales so we can feed them here quickly. Oh yeah, I need to set up their water system here too. Shut that off. So now I need to take my old uh, GMC. I'm gonna show you how this old uh, hydro bed works pick up a few bales again from Jeffrey helping us out gonna give us a few more bales I'm gonna hop over this fence here so we'll jump into this go get a few bales from Jeffrey's and uh, hopefully be able to uh, get our water system working all right so back this up uh, then we have to unfold this thing and then it extends down like so give you an outside view of this back it up onto the bale sits a little bit high because of how high our truck is. All right. And then uh, lift that onto our bed like so. And fold it on down like so. Back up to the next bale. We're gonna have to go thank Jeffrey for giving us these bales. Getting a little bit used to these controls. Get them in so they turn. And then, like so. There we 
we go. Now we got our bales hooked up. We are ready. So just to make sure, I'm gonna ratchet these down. Just make sure they stay on there all right. Looks like Jeffrey's over here working. Man, them rims are just cool looking, aren't they? Cool looking Denali. So, we thanked Jeffrey there. So, we'll get this thing back to our cattle. Should hopefully be the last trip we need to take today. We put a lot of miles on the road today, that's for sure. Alright, so we need to figure out how to feed these bales. So I think gonna try to just put them into gonna try to put them just into our feed trough right here see if that works Unload. Ooh, a little bit this is a little bit muddy here that should work unroll them right there Put the other one into the our feed wagon. I'm hoping I can just lift it right up in there. We're gonna see though. Oh, yeah, it's a little bouncy now with just one on. Let's see if we can lift this up into the feed wagon. There we go, that went into the feed wagon now. Now we could just close this. Fold that up. We are done. So I need to take that uh, cattle trailer back to Jeffrey's over there. And I need to figure out some way how to water these cattle. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching, like, comment, and share and subscribe.